If you wake up between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m., do this. At the end of this video, I will tell you what to do. Greetings, everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the importance of understanding who God is. The idea of a G-O-D in capital letter is something that is really affecting a lot of us and affecting our breakthrough. I'm going to continue to give you these spiritual messages. But for those of you who have other ideas or other topic suggestions, continue to drop them. And you might just be one of those persons whose topic suggestion or letter is responded to in a video. Now, what I want to talk about this, people, I am bearing my soul with this one. Okay, literally bear in my soul. For anyone who might be able to relate to what I'm saying. But before I go any further, I want to say to you that the idea of this God is something that you have to conceptualize and change. Because if you believe in a God that doesn't make changes in your life, that doesn't speak to you, to where you can actually feel the vibration and feel the energy around you, then I'm going to say that mm -mm, you're operating at the lowest frequency and you'll never have the breakthrough that is important. And breakthrough doesn't just mean prosperity. Breakthrough just doesn't always mean that we get what we want as soon as we seek it. The greater part is to be connected with spirit. And through our experiences, we learn and grow. So I'm telling you, in 2024 thus far, I've had some experiences that have forced me to continue learning and growing. And I'm very open to learning, even from the very little ones in our midst. Because, listen to me, a child can teach. We can learn from animals. We can learn from anybody Sometimes I look around and I have to laugh. I was listening to a, a Jamaican YouTuber talking, whatever they were talking about. And he said, he was referring to the YouTube, he says, industry. And I couldn't stop laughing. And I thought to myself, our God, our creator of the universe, or the spirits, have a huge sense of humor. And if you know anything about their rishas, then you know that some of them are tricksters. But let me tell you, sense of humor is so important to know because when I saw the young man who happens to be a social media content creator who actually survives on income earned on YouTube, and I know people who have degrees after degrees that are struggling to find work, you have to look and say, why is this God not one that is prejudiced or just favors people uh, based on their looks or their ethnic background or their education or their financial or social position? But everyone, regardless of your standing or your status in life, He's tested, he's tried, and must grow. So because someone is wealthy, you might not get to see what's going on in their life, in their relationship, in their health. It doesn't mean that we all don't have our own challenges. We all do. But the fact that someone who would otherwise not have certain opportunity is allowed, the door is open, the window is kicked, open for these ones to come true and oftentimes it upsets people who are born into privilege to see the ghetto person the one who can barely read listen you can look on social media and see people who are not intelligent in terms of book smart but they're street smart the people are doing very well financially for themselves and they cannot hold a good conversation if you ask them something there's no depth there's no spiritual insight you know but yet they're doing 
the thing. They're doing the darn thing. And sometimes even you who have opportunities, you know, overseas or opportunities based on your, your education and things like that, you're still feeling like you're falling behind these ones. Because listen, God is just. The idea of God is just and fear. It seems like it's not, but it depends on the concept of God that you have. So you say, oh, life is so unfair because you look and you see some wicked people and they're prospering. And you see some good people and they suffer and they die and they don't achieve much in life. But the thing is, you might say they don't achieve financial freedom or they don't achieve certain things that you consider to be successful. But some of these ones, as poor and broke as they are, they had peace. And some of the ones with a great deal of wealth have zero peace. Okay, so we really can't just live our lives based on what other persons present before us. Just just look at your own situation and find peace within your own self. And while we're talking about growth and that, thank you guys. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Thanks to everyone who watches the, um, the ads and for those who advocate for the ads to be watched. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's one of the best things you can do for me. Please watch the ads. It is easier and a nicer contribution than me having to come and say, please donate to my channel, da, 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 da. Okay, I'm not very good at the begging. Um, that's not, I'm not opposed to it, but I'm just not very good at it. I like to grow organically, and so I appreciate the new growth. The, the subscribers, those of you who subscribe, and those of you who are just viewing, and listen, a large percent of you, percentage of you are just viewers you don't really subscribe subscribe to the channel help me grow if it so pleases you if you're just a standby and you're just just in love with me and but you still don't want to contribute to my growth you know, you're welcome to one day you might change your mind guys don't watch other person's growth just continue to focus on your own and to get a more positive idea of who God is. Because the truth is, if I look at it the way it's preached to me, this idea of God, I would be so angry. I would be an atheist. Honestly, I would be an atheist for many, many years. I would ask questions. I would challenge the idea and the concept of God. I would just be so resentful to say, you say, do this, do that, do that. And I've done all these things. And what about me? When is it going to be my turn? I was just not having that concept of God. I love the one where when things are going a particular way and I don't understand it, I can say, talk to me, reveal to me the purpose behind this thing that is happening in my life. And I need to know, I, I need to be connected to a God, the idea and the concept of a God that I can talk to and that I don't have to, you know, just always be on my face and you know, always being afraid to ask the questions because I have to ask questions because we are human beings. We need to know. And there are times when things are happening and I'm saying, okay, I know that you will never do this to me. I know you never allow this to happen to me except for my growth or for my betterment. All I ask for is peace, tranquility. All I ask for is, you know, guidance and protection. All I'm asking for is just to help me understand at least help me to understand why I'm going through this and give me the strength to endure until that season has passed because we all have these seasons that we have to go through. If you wake up between the hours of 2 a.m. and 5 a.m., don't forget to do your prayers. Turn your eyes or your face to the east and call upon your spirit guides and your ancestor and start your day with something positive, a pos positive thought. Give thanks for all that is coming and even those things that are negative. Give thanks for them and ask that your day, order your day that is, and just say today is going to be a day of blessing. Today is going to be a day of love and peace and light and joy. And just say the thing, whatever it is you want that day to be, say it, speak it, believe it, and it will be. And trust and believe whatever you ask for, it will be granted unto you. Do not envy of anybody for what they have. Just work on yourself. Give thanks for what you do have. Journal. Write down the things that you desire, people. Just found another list of mine from 2023. I got everything that I, I asked for. Just write it down, guys. Write it down. I will teach you how to do it. Write it down. Check it off. There are certain things that you will put on... Um, 
that request and I'll tell you where to keep it in another video. Everything that I asked for was granted. But whenever you're asking and manifesting, remember there are other energies there that are going to come and challenge it. That is a part of the Bible where they say, you know, Job, you know, the devil goes to God and says, oh, the only reason why he's worshiping you is because of the things you give him. And then give me permission to, to create all kind of havoc in his life and see if he doesn't curse you. That's what that means. Every time you get great things, there's going to be energies and spirits that will go and, and challenge your, your, your guides, challenge your creator to say, listen, let's test this one to see if they deserve what they have, you know, or if they're going to be faithful. It's a wonderful world. It's a beautiful world. I am coming out, well, still inside that tunnel, but heading towards light. And let me tell you, every time I go through these upheavals in life, it makes me know God more and, and understand that I am protected. And so are you. Stay blessed, everyone.